Yeah, my boo, uh, you talk to one, call one. Yeah. Usually it's uh, the app question, so. Yeah. Well, obviously, there are some things that you probably think about in your own community that might not occur to other people to ask about. So, what do you what do you feel is really at the forefront of importance to bring to the forum today? To so bring to the forum, uh, us, that can make people. But first of all, I represent three community. I'm the Grand Chief of the Atikamek Nation. We're about uh, seven thousand over seven thousand people, and we mostly speak our language still. Even though that's a language that's disappearing right now, we about eight, ninety-eight percent of our people speak our language. That's the first language we speak when we're young, until when we start going to school, like everybody on the main street in Canada. People speak uh, English and French. Us, when the Quebec part of Canada. So our second language is French over there. Uh, the main problem in our uh, nation is the same as uh, everywhere. I know it's different all around the world. It's not the same. Uh, it's not the same issues, but I mean uh, same uh, social problem. Uh, how the government deal with uh, Aboriginal people around the world is different. In Canada, we have our problem too. Even though Canada is considered as the one of the best country in the world to live with, but us First Nation will we like uh, back, back in uh, we're down there. We, we don't have the same uh, level of uh, of life as the rest of Canadian in Canada. Uh, like us in our community, we have the, this problem with the poverty, with housing, health, all the same issues as everybody. But us, what's more, uh, the biggest thing is why in Canada, as a country, who's considered the best country in the world, one of the best countries in the world, why we're, we're being still treated like that, as second class people. Our resources, we don't own our resources, even though, yeah, because you have to understand the story in Canada. There's a lot of, places, most of Canada, they have treaty. They sign a paper, give their land back. But us in Quebec is different. Yeah, I know north of Quebec. I don't know if you know about north of Quebec. Cree, they signed an agreement in 1975. Us, as Quebec people, we never signed an agreement. So by law, it's still our country. It's still our land. We never sold, exchange, we do so whatever with our, our, our land. And our heights are still our land. So all the all the resources they come and get in our land. We should be we should be getting a part of it. We should be uh, getting a part of this to uh, to grow economically, grow socially, to give our people program, to have better education, better health, more housing. Our people will, will live like two, three, four family in the same house. I know it's different. Our other country, uh, it's, uh, it could be worse. But in Canada, as a country uh, with this standard, why us? We got to live in this kind of condition. That's uh, that's one of the main problem. We're gonna come back. I'm coming here to talk about tomorrow. I'm talking about. Uh, I'll be talking about health. Always, uh, we're not at the same level as uh, the rest. It's all related to the program. It's all related. All the, the government companies they make a lot of money with our resources, but us we don't get nothing. We're second-class citizen, and it took a long time for Canada to sign the, the Declaration of Uni uh, United Nation about Aboriginal people. And uh, maybe it's uh, it's just a, a sh to show how they, they consider us in Canada as First Nation people.